my god, oh 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 my god. This is amazing, guys. So, today, in fact, like maybe an hour or two hours ago, uh, something big happened. Something that I've been waiting for for like ten years to happen. And that is, Incredibles 2 has just been announced. Yes, the, <laughs> the, probably my favorite movie from Disney, from Disney Pixar, and one of my favorite movies from Disney in general, is, is finally getting a big sequel. Oh my god, this is amazing. I am so excited. When the news came out, I was like, literally for like 20 minutes making sure this was confirmed, then Dis we, I got an official thing from Disney, uh, I found out an official post from Disney Pixar saying, yeah, we're doing Incredibles 2 and Cars 3. I don't give a crap about Cars 3. Incredibles 2 is the only thing I care about, ladies and gentlemen. I only care about <laughs> the, uh, I only care about this. So I am super excited. I am so super excited about this. Now, obviously it won't come out this year, but maybe 2015, I'm looking at maybe it's going to be 2015 or 2016 that this movie will come out. 2017 at the latest. So that's going to be like 12 years after the first, 10, 12, yeah, 11 to 12 years after the first movie. Because like I said, it's probably not going to, it just got announced today in this year, and it takes a while to animate CGI and stuff, and you know, editing and all that, so it'd probably come out either, tw I want to say 2016 at the latest, so it'd be 12 years after the m first movie, and remember how long all the sequels were f in between all the, all the, uh, the Toy Story movies and how they grew up with that, and that kind of leads me to wonder, are they going to do that with Incredibles? I mean, it's been 12 years since the last movie, so are they going to say it's, it's going to be set 12 years after? So, at that point, uh, Violet would probably be in college, uh, Dash would be, I'd say he'd probably be like a junior, a sophomore or junior in high school, and, uh, I think Jack-Jack would be somewhere in the fourth or fifth grade. Somewhere in those lines. But, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really hoping they do that, is, like, see them grown up and see more of a part. Maybe they've, kind of, like, maybe the kids have decided to go off and not do their own superhuman stuff. Maybe they just want to have their own lives now. They've kind of grown out of being superheroes. And then we have Bob and Helen, who are older. They're still wanting to be superheroes, but they realize they're getting older. And they're kind of trying to get their family into doing more superhero stuff. Now, a while back, I did a video talking about, a, like, my idea for a sequel for a for The Incredibles. And I would like to see more superhuman element. Yeah, we got Syndrome and all of them, but I would really like to see, like, more, like, um, ba uh, like uh, Mr. Incredibles' rogues gallery. Like, they've been locked up in prison, they're getting older, and then they just break out of prison, and they're like, yeah, we're gonna go after Mr. Incredible and his family. The other idea I had was now that there's superheroes around, there's more younger superheroes and more aggressive superheroes, kind of like the 90s grunge era super, uh, superheroes. Like, they're all about, you don't, go the ho you don't go to jail, you either go to the hospital or morgue with us. And, maybe, and it's a world that's totally different of superheroes, and it's not like what it used to be, and it's such a culture shock for Mr. Incredible, because he lived in a world where, like, yeah, we're the good guys, and we take down the bad guys, that's... That's it, you know, we're not the executioners. And these new super villain, these new superheroes, they're kind of like the elite, where they're just more like, yeah, they break the law, they're going to get out again, so we're going we're gonna to break their skulls and make sure they never do this again. So I think that uh, that would be a very cool way to look at it. Either that or, uh, and again, you got to keep the family element. You really have to keep the family element of this comic book, uh, comic book, of this series in here. I think that would be, the, that's got to be the big thing in this uh, new story is, you know, keep the family together. Um, so yeah, but yeah, um, those were just my two ideas. In fact, they might even not do those two ideas I just said. They may even something better, because for the longest time, and also the director Brad Bird is behind this once again, and he said, you know, for the longest time that we're not doing Incredibles 2 until we have a really good idea of what to do with it, and yeah, if it's taken them ten years to announce this, I'm pretty sure that this better be like the greatest idea ever. If you waited ten years to make this movie, you know, to finally get this this ball rolling, um, hopefully it will be like the greatest movie ever. Like not greatest movie ever, but like it'll be an excellent sequel, is what I'm trying to say. It'll be an amazing sequel to what we had beforehand. So yeah, <laughs> I'm really excited. 
In fact, when this news was uh, was first announced, I was acting like the uh, the foaming mouth guy from Avatar: The Last Airbender. I was just like, Bleh! oh man, I was uh, that. You should have seen me. I was running around my room going, yeah, yeah, like we just like I just won the ner uh, the Geek Super Bowl. Oh man, that's pathetic. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I am needless to say, I'm really freaking excited for Incredibles two. I cannot wait for this movie. Uh, again, they haven't. All they've done is announce the mo All they've done is announce it. They haven't given a release date or if the other voice actors or who will be in it. All that we know is that it's being it's being made. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it off to you. Uh, what do you guys want from this sequel? Do you guys want to see them older? Do you want to see them? Uh, do you want to see the kids older? Do you want to see the characters older? Or do you think it should be right a after the first movie? Like maybe a couple, like a year or two after the first movie. Which I don't really want. I, I kind of like that idea of the characters growing up. Um, something along those lines. So, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I had to say. So you guys tell me what you think of all this. Do you guys like this idea of a sequel? Um, what do you guys want to see in there? Do you want to see supervillains? Do you want to see something else happen? You know, stuff like that. All right, guys. Once again, I hope, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.